Good afternoon, it's Simon at Van Sedan Worcester. I'm going to give you a quick video walk around of this 2017 on a 17 plate Citroen Dispatch. It's the 1.6 HDI Enterprise model, so um, their upper level of uh, in, in trim wise, sort of top spec one. It's 115 brake horsepower, six speed gearbox in this one. Uh, with a couple or certainly one exceedingly nice extra in the fact that it does have factory sat nav and multifunction steering wheel which isn't standard on an enterprise so i'm going to give you a quick video walk around it's a one owner from new vehicle it has just arrived in with us we've given it a very quick valet um, it's a very tidy van there's a couple of minor cosmetic stuff i will point them out to you as we go around and we can get these resolved for you before it goes out um, but at the moment um, obviously they're still on there so let's uh have to excuse me using the phone rather than the gimbal so looking from a distance uh down the side of the vehicle you can see she's all one shade of white as you would hope and uh let's give you an idea of what it's like from a cosmetic point of view so we'll start up on the windscreen uh, no major stone chips to point out to you all good from that point of view bonnet nice and tidy Again, most of the front end of this, so from, from here downwards, is just a massive plastic front bumper. So stone chipping wise, uh, there's not really a major issue for these vans. Uh, currently, it has a scuff on the passenger front bumper black plastic area. Uh, we can get that uh, sorted out on it. Uh, passenger headlamp unit is all good. Passenger steel wheel and tyre on the front end as you can see these vans do suffer uh, it's not just a Citroen thing but a lot of manufacturers are suffering with steel wheels that corrode uh, there are signs of corrosion on your steel wheel front tyre though has plenty of tread depth left on it as part of our PDI process we will give you exactly what your tyre tread depths are front passenger wing all good passenger mirror unit all in one piece the mirror itself is all in good order. Passenger door glass and door itself, all good. Rubbing strip down the bottom here is all tidy. You, there's a couple of minor little scratches here. Uh, we will get these touched in and you won't be able to see them then. Passenger uh, door handle and lock are all good. Passenger sliding door handles good. Open up the sliding door, your passenger sill and entry plastics are in nice condition. This does have an opening bulkhead, it's a medium wheelbase model with the opening bulkhead, so it gives you additional load length underneath your passenger seat. The bulkhead itself, tidy enough condition. Ply lining in this, uh, I'd suggest has potentially just been reply lined by the lease companies, it's come off lease. Um, but as you can see, if it hasn't, it's been exceedingly well looked after. Um, because in actual fact, if you look at the metalwork in the back of the van, it's very tidy. No real dents or dings or marks on it. Ply lining floor itself, in good order. Uh, Euro 6 engines these are, so... Um, they're uh, uh, ULEZ and uh, LEZ zone compliant. Fuel cap there, it's lockable fuel cap. Um, passenger rear quarter, all tidy. Uh, steel wheel, again on the back, minor signs of corrosion. Again, it's got loads of tread depth on the tyre. As you can see, passenger rear bumper corner is good with no scuffs. Rear light unit itself, all good. Minor bits of corrosion on the door hinges. It's a really common fault on this model, whether it's got a, whether it's a Citroen Dispatch, a Peugeot Expert, a Toyota, um, or even now the new Vauxhall, they all suffer from it. Um, rear bumper, top of the rear bumper, hopefully you can see. It's not chewed to pieces, it's in all in good order. We do have reverse parking sensors on the back of this model. Rear door handle and lock is in decent condition. As I say, barn doors on the back, both of those are in nice condition with no undue wear or tear. Opening 
up the back end of the vehicle. Uh, nice and tidy, plastics again, ply lining, metal work, metal work on the inside of your rear doors. You know, overall a very nice and tidy van. Driver's rear light unit all in one piece and in good order. Driver's rear bumper corner again, nice condition. Corrosion on the lower door hinge on this side again as well. And then if we look down the driver's profile of the van, no dents or dings to point out to you. Nice gloss to the paintwork. Driver's side rear steel wheel has signs of corrosion on it and tire itself all good. So twin sliding doors these vans are. As you can see, driver's side entry into your sliding driver's side siding door entry is in good condition, plastics in good condition, seals in good condition. And the interior on the back of it is all good. So door handle and driver's door handle and lock is all good. Minor little scratch there, which we will get touched in. A couple of really minor marks on the door edges. We'll get those sorted out on it for you. Driver's door sill, plastics and flooring is all good. Oh, we've got some paper mats on the flooring here. We'll take that up. So hopefully you can see flooring's all good. We do have a missing rubber on the clutch pedal. No, clutch pedal, geez. How long have I been driving for? On the brake pedal. Centre pedal's a brake pedal, Simon. Uh, rubber is missing on it. We will have to get that replaced. Uh, electric mirrors and electric windows. The door cards are in nice, tidy, clean condition. The seating, your entry plastic on your seats and your driver's seat squab and the actual seats themselves are in nice, tidy, clean condition. Headlining, nice and tidy. Uh, so as I say, this particular van has multifunction steering wheel, which is giving you obviously some kind of voice activation on there. Activation to the computer system, volume controls, and configuration for your main unit over here. Of which, if we turn on the vehicle, so it's currently done 4,581 miles. Uh, as you fire it up, it does a systems check telling us that our right front door is open, which is our driver's door. Let's get that closed. So, this one has an additional computer system on here telling us rate of fuel range average mpg etc etc over the mileage covered and then the extra on this one over and above standard enterprise spec is your uh, head unit uh, which is a citroen head unit which does have built-in citroen navigation on it so it's uh, i've taken photos of all the individual pages on this unit which uh, will be on the photo side of our site um, but uh, we have various options on here so this is all let's just there you go it's all turning itself on now there's your sat nav it's just finding the satellites there you go so you've got factory sat nav on here which is the extra okay over here uh, if we hit the telephone button so obviously you've got your bluetooth for your music and your audio this part here is bear with us uh, runs you through. So you've got Android Auto, you've got Mirror Link, you've got Citroen Connected Apps and you've got Apple CarPlay on there as well. Settings page, this one over here gives you various options for stop start, parking sensors, diagnostics, hit the diagnostic if there's any issue with the van, just does a quick check and tells you but obviously that's all good. Uh, air conditioning, all important air conditioning. This being the 115 brake horsepower, it has the six speed gearbox. You have USB and uh, like cigarette lighter, 12 volt power there. We have cruise control and speed limiter. Lights are automatic. It also has auto wipers as well over here. So overall, a really nice specification vehicle. Dashboard, hopefully you can see, there's no undue wear or tear on your dashboard. Bit of storage up there and Looking at your seating, let's move this paper mat out of the way so you can see that your flooring on the passenger side is all good. 
And if I move our camera and price board out of the way, you can see that the seating on this side is all nice and tidy as well. So there we go, 40 odd photos on our website very shortly, which is vanstoday.com. I am Simon, you can contact us on 01905 672 080 or email me at sales at vanstoday.com. There will be 40 odd photos, as I say, uploaded very shortly. You can check us out on uh, all the normal uh, Google, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, etc. etc. Any further questions, give us a bell. Thanks for looking at the video. Cheers.